Welcome to my radio workshop. This is my Swan 250 6 meter transceiver. <clears throat> it's an old tube rig. I bought it off of eBay and I've been working on it off and on trying to get it restored to good operating condition. Uh, not done with it by any means. We've still got a few few things to, to do to it. Uh, so far uh, my friend John and I have uh, recapped it. Uh, we also recapped the uh, power supply that came with it so that it works perfectly. We've replaced uh, some of the resistors that needed replacing and some of the diodes that needed replacing. And uh, other than that, um, that's about all we've done. We, we did uh, test the uh, tubes, and uh, except for the, uh, except for the, the uh, driver and the uh, finals, which my tube tester at the time didn't test those, uh, and all the other tubes are pretty good. Now, when we first started working on this and we, and we tried tuning it up, to uh, see what kind of output we were getting. It, we followed the procedures and on the uh, the meter it was showing no no transmit output at all. And we couldn't figure out why. And after we messed with it for a good while we finally figured out that uh, that part of the meter there's a problem. You know, somewhere in, in that part of the meter circuit where it it just was not registering the transmit power. We we hooked up an external uh, meter to it, output meter to it, and found that it was in fact putting out some some uh, transmit power. So we're uh, we're going to have to try to figure out what's wrong with that meter. But until then, we're going to be using the external power meter in order to uh, do the rest of the work on it, and we'll deal with the with the meter on the rig uh, last. Uh, I'll give you a um, I'll give you a look at the inside of it, so you can see uh, just what it looks like on the inside. Okay, here's a look at the top side. Uh, as you can see, it's it's fairly uh, open chassis, not too hard to work on. These are the finals here, a pair of 6146s. They're not cheap, um, and so I hope I don't have to replace them. The ones that are in there right now seem to be putting out about 40 watts. It's rated at 100 watts output. But uh, as I say, we've, we've got a lot of work yet to do to it. Um, we're going to have to do the transmitter alignment and uh, we're going to have to neutralize the tubes and, and all that sort of thing. So I don't know what the final output's going to be from those finals as well as the driver. Um, so that remains to be seen. Uh, that's the top side. Now we'll go take a look at the bottom side. Okay, here's the bottom side. You can see we've replaced the filter capacitors and we've replaced a bunch of other capacitors, pretty much all the capacitors except for the uh, ceramic ones. And uh, we replaced uh, several resistors. Now, <clears throat> one thing about these, uh, these old tube rigs, like the Swan, is they were the, the like the Swan 250 was known as the Swan 2 Drifty, um, the Swan 350 known as the Swan 3 Drifty, so on and so forth. And while yeah they are they are drifty until they warm up sufficiently, and of course the, even after that they're not going to be quite as as rock stable as your modern solid state rigs. I believe that uh, that we can make it a lot more stable than it used to be. A lot of the, uh, I think a lot of the instability came from the components 
they weren't quite as tight a tolerance as today's components. I think a lot of it is also from the uh, heat generated on the inside from those finals. So one of the modifications that we're going to be doing to this is to install a, uh, a fan to uh, pull all that uh, heat out of there and keep the finals as cool as possible. I think that's going to go a long way towards stabilizing the VFO on it as well as the new components. Also, later on, Swan came out with a bunch of service bulletins giving several factory modifications that could be done to it that also improve the stability. And uh, once we get this restored to proper working conditions, then we're going to do those modifications. This is a project that's going to take a while. I'm going to be working on it a little here and a little there when I get the chance. And uh, so whenever we do work on it, we'll, uh, we'll video some of it, let you know what we're doing, show you the results. And then once we got it all done, we'll do a video with it on the air and, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, show you some QSOs with it and show you how it performs. So uh, until we get to working on it, uh, this will do it for now. Good night, ladies. Good night.